What's good, family? What's good, family? It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. I want to give you my first round preview for the NBA playoffs. <clears throat> um, This is the best time of the NBA season because the NBA regular season has been watered down so much. Guys not playing. And another thing that's watered down is so much of the player movement. You got to give guys a chance to play. Then there's so much guys that are injured, uh, guys getting healthy back and we're still dealing with COVID and the vaccine mandates. And <clears throat> so now is where we get into the nitty gritty. And it's still time for teams to get their swag up and get shit together. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a seven game series, not five game series. This is the mo most exciting time in the basketball season. This is the time with guys like me. Where I wait for this time of the year. Okay. Now we're going to start off in the Western Conference. Shout out to the New Orleans Pelicans. Came back with a big win last night. But here's your reward. You play the best team in basketball, the Phoenix Suns, in the seven-game series. See you in four games. Fo 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 out of here. God bless you. Be lucky to get one. <laughs> Only thing that's going to stop the Suns from sweeping the Pelicans is injury. Nothing else. I love the Phoenix Suns. They've been the most consistent team all year. You have a great player in Devin Booker. You have the best floor general in basketball, Chris Paul. You have a big man. If you don't realize how... As much as the NBA has been watered down and as much as some big men have been eliminated from the game, pay attention to the teams that have won championships in these last few years because everybody can't shoot like Golden State. It's been teams with bigs. Why? Bigs help you defend the rim, but also get you extra opportunities. Lakers, why did they win? Look how many bigs they had. They weren't a great shooting team. Look how many bigs. They had a dynamic big and a whole bunch of other bigs to protect the rim and get them other chances. Milwaukee, you had one dynamic big and other bigs to protect the rim and get them other chances. They have DeAndre in, plus now they have other bigs to protect the rim and help them get other chances. <clears throat> pay attention. Please pay attention. So, uh, that being said, Phoenix, fo fo fo, nothing to talk about. They out of there. Next, you have um, <clears throat> probably the most entertaining series in the Western Conference. We have Memphis going up against Minnesota. And I'm not going to lie to you. Minnesota got a shot. They got a shot because they have enough guard play to combat what Memphis is doing. They also have a dynamic big who is better than Memphis's bigs. Cat is, I think this series is going to be on Cat Towns. If he can be that much better than Memphis's bigs, and he is, if he is dominant on both ends of the floor, this is a seven game series that can go either way. If not, it's a five game, five game series for Memphis with a whole lot of highlights on each side. That's my take. Um, <clears throat> because Ja is going to do Ja. D'Angelo Russell, I like, I like, I told, I picked Minnesota early in the year, beginning of the season, being a playoffs, and you see that. Cause, and also like Anthony Edwards, I think he's a problem. But I think they have enough other wings to, you know, make them work for it. And, but I think they have, you know, you know, Steven Adams, who I love. But a dominant scoring big is going to get his points on him. He's a good defender, but he's not locked down where you're going to stop him from getting your points. No. So if Cat Towns is ready to be that guy, is ready to take up that mantle, they can win this series. They can at least push it seven games. If not, it's going to be very entertaining both ways, very exciting basketball. Especially they play so playgroundy nowadays. These are two teams with young athletes. Very exciting. You'll see a bunch of clips on IG from this series. You'll love it. And it'll be done in five games. And Memphis will win that way. Next, you have Golden State. Golden State and <clears throat> Denver. And uh, Golden State and Denver. This, everybody thought Golden, this would be Golden State's year, and I kind of got sucked into it. But um, I think Golden State, now looking at Golden State, I think they're a year away. 
A, because, like I just said, having dominant bigs. James Wiseman missed the entire year. You know, you have the other the other rookie kid wing. I'm, I don't want to jack his name up. He'll have a year on this belt next year. Having a healthy Steph next year. Having a healthy Clay, Not just coming back, but having a training camp. Ken Draymond, if you can load manage him throughout the year. I think next year is more where you can really look at them to make some noise. You got Steph coming back off injury. You don't have a James Wiseman. <laughs> Clay's been off and on some games. He looks like Clay 2.0. Other games, he looked like a guy who's coming back off of ACL and, uh, you know, Achilles. So, and you're going against a guy like Jokic, who they really don't have an answer for. Golden State is a small team. They're a small team. Like I said, the quality bigs. Golden State doesn't have one. They don't. Looney's a serviceable guy, but that's what he is at most. And he has nothing for the Joker. Um, I think if Murray and Michael Porter Jr. don't come back, that makes the series interesting. The longer the series goes, I think, uh, I think it benefits Denver. And I see Denver winning that series. Lastly, from the Western Conference, you have um, Dallas and Utah. Now, nobody else really liked Utah going into the going into the playoffs. I did, and I did because I like them. They are already made team. They play great defense. They shoot the three ball very well, and you have a dynamic player. Their thing that has always hurt them is not having someone else, another dynamic player, to accompany him, ride out with him. And put on just the way he's putting on. Especially when you go against these other teams that had this from two, three guys. Rudy Gobert, as great as he is, he's a finisher. He's not a scorer <clears throat> on offense. But um, I think Dallas is Taylor May from with or without Luka Doncic. Without Luka Doncic, I think just, they should smoke him in four or five games. With Luka Doncic, I think they win in seven. And I say that because as good as... Utah can be defensively with Doncic, especially now hobble Doncic. Calf strains. Calf strains, literally, for the best athletes in the world, you don't know when it's going to be completely ill. You don't know. You can sit a month, try to jog it. Oh, shit, pop it again. I've been there. And now, <laughs> this is the best athlete in the world. They go through that. Um, I just think that you give a great defensive team the means to focus on one guy, Focus on one guy, especially when he's not very athletic. He's not going to get cheap points. Because what Dante is going to do, at most, he's just going to run high screen and roll, high screen and roll, high screen and roll until he gets a favorable matchup. Until he gets somebody he can go one-on-one -on -one against, either post up or shoot over the top. This is what he does in the playoffs. This is what he did against the Clippers these last two years. He'll just keep going high screen and roll, high screen and roll until he gets uh, uh, Bobby Jackson on him. Or uh, do something in Minnesota, that little, that guy. Because he was too small for him. That's what he does. People say, oh, he did it to Kawhi. No, he did not. He avoided Kawhi like bad child support. <laughs> like, no, he did not. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> but uh, I like Utah, especially no Doncic. Utah smokes them in four. They're playing right now, no discoys. I still think Utah smokes them in four games, five games tops. That's the Western Conference. Let's go to the East. Now, 1-8, you have Trey Young. Congratulations, they made it to the, to the playoffs, and now you play Miami. I think that's going to be a very exciting series. I think teams, both of those teams rely a lot on the three ball. Miami, of course, is much better defensively, but what Atlanta has that Miami does not have is a dynamic guy. Give him the ball. Let him take us there. Jimmy Butler can be a good closer at times, but he's not a superstar scorer. Much as I love him, he's not a superstar scorer. Trey Young is. Um, Miami has a bunch of dogs on that team, and I like the fact that you got a guy like Kyle Lowry. I think that's what ultimately is going to lead them to victory in this series. I like Miami in seven. But Trey Young's going to make them sweat. A lot. That's that matchup. Then you have Chicago and... um. Milwaukee, 
very close by, not much traveling. And uh, I like Milwaukee in four. Milwaukee, a ready-made team like Milwaukee. Defensively, they're getting back to, to being what they are. Giannis is Giannis. Everybody's back healthy. You know, you got Brooke Lopez back shooting, protecting the rim. I think that uh, Milwaukee smokes them at four. Chicago, I want to give them, because DeMar DeRose has been so great, I want to give them one game, but they ain't got nothing for Milwaukee. Nothing. And this is Milwaukee continuing to get their swag up until the next round. Get coming together at the right time because their eyes are on the finals. Their eyes are on repeating nothing else. Milwaukee. Then you have... <clears throat> then you have... Uh, and the most talked about series, you have Boston versus Brooklyn. Now, as much as I don't... I don't want to go there with Brooklyn. I don't. Mind you, these teams played in the first round last year. But as I don't want to go there with Brooklyn, I don't because they got they got bad check marks here, here, here. Um, they played a no a hobbled. Brooklyn played them last year and smoked them. Boston got their swagger, Mickey Doka. I think it's going to be coach of the year. But Brooklyn smoked them last year. The thing is that with Brooklyn is Brooklyn wants to win by having such an overwhelming offense that they could just bomb you and blow you out of the gym. And last year with all three guys there, they had that. But then injuries came in the way, and then this year never really materialized. They have close to that. They have close to that. And the fact that the Celtics do not have Robert Williams. They don't. They don't have Robert Williams. I expect to see Brooklyn coming to Boston similarly like they, how they came into Philly a couple of weeks ago and put foot to ass. I think Brooklyn wins in six. I just think Brooklyn wins in six. I'm sorry. But uh, at the end of the day, Boston has a better roster. But Tatum, shout out to the Dookie. I think he'll have a game against KD. Where he looks better than KD and Kyrie. I don't think he can do that four times. I don't. I think KD and Kyrie could look a hell of a lot better than him and everybody else on that roster four times. Brooklyn is six. Last but not least, you have Philly, who won't have Thibault when they go to Toronto. Um, against Toronto. Uh, everybody saw him, James Harden is James Harden is, and understandably so. Understandably so. Let's get that, let's get that, you know, elephant out the room. Understandably so. They're right for saying this. But, with all that being said, with all that being said, I, uh, I see Philly winning this in six games, if not five. Because they got nothing for Embiid. And when he got nothing for Embiid, and the fact that he's a passer, people forget something. Everybody joker this, joker this. God bless the joker and everything. Embiid would have won the MVP last year if he didn't miss but so many games. He was the front runner before he got hurt. And the only reason he didn't win it last year because he didn't have enough games and Joker didn't miss any. So everybody is forgetting that, like, Joker had a better season. No, he did not. Joker didn't have a better season than last year. Joker's not having a better season than this year. And because of that, Joel Embiid, Philly, we win in six. Those are my picks. Those are my take. Make sure you hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit me up. Let me know what you think. It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. I'm out. Salute.